When it comes to astronomy as a beginner, you should prefer to buy some basic telescope, with which you can see the planet and nearby stars in our solar system. But as you get more experienced, you want to see the celestial objects, which are far, far beyond our solar system, and need a really good telescope. The telescopes with which you can observe deep space are quite expensive. But if you're passionate about astronomy or astrophotography, then you will need these super efficient telescopes. So in this video, we will see some super cool telescopes, which are good for deep space astronomy. The first telescope is Celestron Edge HD 11-inch Optical Tube Assembly. This is Celestron's higher model telescope. The telescope has a 1-inch aperture and comes with only optical tube assembly. This means you have to buy the mount separately. As this is one of the higher-end telescopes from Celestron, it has all the best technology such as Edge HD optics, it is fast star compatible, and has Starbright XLT coatings. Because of Edge HD technology, the images you see are aberration-free across the wide photographic field of view. The Edge HD Tech provides astrograph quality flat focal plane till the end of the field of view. Edge HD optics produce a focal plane more than three times flatter than a standard Schmidt Cassegrain telescope and more coma free images. The Starbright XLT coating also helps to reduce the aberration. This helps you get sharper images. This optical tube also has some mechanical features, such as mirror clutches and tube vents. Mirror clutches hold the mirror in place and reduce image shift while taking long exposure astrophotography shots, ultimately keeping the object centered in the eyepiece. The tube vents allow releasing the hot air behind the primary mirror without letting in the dust. The FASTAR technology allows you to remove the secondary mirror and replace it with a third-party lens for ultra-fast F2 wide field imaging. The aperture of the telescope is 279.4 millimeters and has a focal length of 2,800 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 10, but with the addition of a focal reducer, you can reduce the focal length to seven. Also with FASTAR, you can get the focal ratio of two. So this telescope offers you three focal ratios with little changes. The length of an optical tube is 610 millimeters, and the weight of the optical tube is 28 pounds, around 13 kilograms. It comes with a 23 millimeter, two inch, Celestron luminous eyepiece that has an 82 degree field of view and a two inch diagonal with a 1.25 inch adapter. It also came with a nine by 50 finder scope. Celestron offers you a two year warranty for this telescope. The second telescope is Skywatcher EVOSTAR 120 ED OTA. This is a refractor telescope. As it is a refractor telescope, it doesn't have a bigger aperture, but that doesn't mean it doesn't give you sharper images. To understand this, you need to watch this video on the channel or just check out the link in the description. This telescope will give you sharp and superior quality flawless images, even though the aperture is smaller compared to other types of telescope refractors. It will always exhibit sharper images than other optical designs. The refractor concentrates more light. Compared to reflectors, in refractors, you will not find any diffraction pattern interference caused by a diagonal mirror or a secondary mirror in the path of the light. This telescope is a doublet apochromatic refractor. It has a 120 millimeter aperture and a focal length of 900 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 7.5. It comes with two eyepieces, one is five millimeters and the second is 20 millimeters. The length of the optical tube assembly is 36 inches and the weight is 13.9 pounds. As it is a refractor, it virtually eliminates residual chromatic aberrations. Its all-lens surfaces 
have anti-reflection metallic coatings to ensure maximum light throughput. It has a light baffled optical system which eliminates excess unfocused light. With this telescope, you can observe our moon in great detail. Usually, many other telescopes struggle to show the details of the planets in our solar system. With EVO Star 120 ED, you can see planets in the solar system with lots of details. You can find great details of Olympus Mon, volcanic craters on Mars with such details. Vallis Mariners, which is also known as the Grand Canyon of Mars, you will be able to see it in much sharper detail with EVO Star 120 ED. Beyond our solar system in deep space, you will be able to see double stars like Epsilon Lyrae, Aldebaran, a reddish giant star in the constellation Taurus, a globular star cluster, and many more wonders of deep space. This is one of the best refractor telescopes you can buy for your deep space stargazing. Both of these telescopes do not come with mount. You might notice that many of the expensive telescopes do not come with a mount. Usually mounts that come with less expensive telescopes are not up to the mark about the sturdiness and stability. As the aperture size increases, the cost of a suitable mount also increases and will exceed the telescope tube assembly itself. So to keep the cost down, companies only sell the optical tube assembly. A really solid mount is a must for astrophotography, otherwise you'll be frustrated even if you have a really good telescope. But as you progress in your astronomy journey, you need one good mount which is sturdy and can carry a good amount of weight. These types of mounts can be used with different types of telescopes. You should watch this video to know everything about mounts. I hope this video helped you to know the details of these two telescopes for deep space stargazing. If it did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.